What was the I'm fire don't I? Moment you experienced or witnessed. The first time a customer complained about me, I was like 16, and for sure thought I was gonna lose my job. My boss walked over and said that lady is a refined idiot, don't worry. I walked into the prep area of the yogurt shop I managed to find an employee humping the ice machine. He was just goofing off, but I had a sudden evil urge to play it crazy serious. I said, Michael, that ice machine is company property and deserves your respect. I'm afraid I'm going to have to take disciplinary action. He literally hung his head and asked, will my parents find out? It took me 10 minutes to convince the poor guy that I was just kidding and he wasn't in trouble. It was my first management job and I didn't fully understand that my authority came with the responsibility not to scare the employees. When I was a kid, there was a van that used to come and pick us all up from school and take us to Dacre. One day all the Dacre kids loaded up onto the van and the driver told us that we weren't going to Dacre. We were going to her house. Apparently her 12 year old daughter had been told not to get on the school bus that day but to get on the Dacre van. She disobeyed and got on the school bus anyway. Her mom was pissed and wanted to meet the school bus at their house to catch her daughter. So while she sat waiting for an hour for the bus to arrive with her daughter, we got to play on her trampoline in the backyard. While all of our parents were trying to figure out why our van hadn't ever gotten to the Dacre, she eventually loaded us up into the van with her daughter and drove us back to the Dacre, where police were waiting and parents were crying. It was then. That realization dawned on her face that perhaps that wasn't the best thing to do. She lost her job that day. One of the help desk team that worked for me was sending sexy texts to his wife Andrea when he sent a very graphic, descriptive text explaining exactly what he was going to do to her when he got home. Unfortunately, he sent it to Andrew, one of our biggest clients. Andrew's name was next to Andrea's and this guy's contacts on his phone. He came rushing into my office the second he'd sent it, and I had to ring Andrew to limit the damage. Andrew was fine about it, he said he thought my guy seemed really friendly. No one got sacked, but there was much piss taking. Thought I lost a master key that worked at 6 locations, about 400 doors, that would need rekeying. Two weeks into a new job, someone took it off my desk to teach me a lesson about keeping it on my desk and not purring, putting it in the key safe. This is from a slightly different perspective, but what the hell. In this case, it was the boss who thought he was going to fire me. I started working at a target, and at the end of the first day, my manager is walking with me up to the front of the store, just after I've clocked out. He's telling me he thinks I'm going to fit in and work out well. My mom is there to pick me up, and she's just leaning against the wall near cosmetics, where we'll have to walk right past her. As we approach her, I make a comment about these lazy customers, who just come in and lounge about the place not buying anything, and I ball up my hoodie and hurl it at her. The manager has no idea we are related, and was just about to tell me to get out and never come back when I introduced her to him. I worked at Roche as a security guard for a while. One day I was walking the floor of the manufacturing area and was asked to accompany a guy to get a roll of palladium. Palladium was used to make the test strips that go into blood glucose meters. It's an insanely expensive metal and comes in rolls that cost, at the time, around $100,000 each. I walked with him to get it, and while he was getting the roll off the shelf something happened, and three rolls fell into another shelf and a lot of rolls cascaded to the floor. This ruined them. The total damage was almost a million dollars. He wanted to leave right then and avoid the firing. But I convinced him he might not get fired, since it was an accident. He was gone the next day. Happened at my last workplace. My colleague needed a specific washing machine for a customer. We had a pretty small warehouse for our stuff, and it was around Christmas time. So you can imagine how much stuff we got in there on top of each other. Anyway, the washing machines were stacked up on top of each other, and the one he needed was right at the edge of something that was similar to a pyramid. The gets the forklifter, and he aims directly at it without thinking about moving the machines on top of it. As you can already imagine, the whole thing collapsed, and he basically destroyed a bunch of washing machines, TVs and some other stuff. Our boss rushed in the warehouse and you could tell by the face of my colleague that it said, I'm fired, right? 
I came into work at the computer store I'd been working at for years. When I walked into the tech area everyone looked at me, and the lead told me the store manager wanted to see me. Okay. Went to talk to the store manager, and got pulled into a private room we never used, and I was like so, this is bad right? And the manager choked up a bit and said yeah. Half the store was laid off, and the other half had to get the store ready to sell off everything that was left. Everyone got a severance of $600, even the new guy, that was hired 2 weeks before, while I worked there 4 years. Those who got laid off were the lucky ones, there was no severance for the people who stayed employed, and they had to deal with the shyest customers. I had a much better job 2 weeks later, so things worked out for me, I miss that manager though. He was a great guy and I never got to say goodbye to my friends. My first day of my first job I rolled a Silverado off a cliff that had under a thousand miles on the auto. I figured I would just go turn in all my stuff and start looking for a new job, but my boss was incredibly worried that I was okay, told me not to even worry about the truck and personally took me to the air to get checked out, even though I insisted I was perfectly fine. It was a government contract, and Uncle Sam picked up the bill for everything, and I worked there for another 16 months. My best bud and I worked at an apartment building. He was maintenance, and I was leasing. We got teased so much about being work married, that we started playing along. So one day the maintenance manager told me I needed to spank my work husband and we were giggling like 5 year olds, while pretending to do so. The regional manager walked in and watched us with his hands on his hips. We were both certain we were getting fired, but without saying a word he walked away. I used to work in a warehouse right after high school. Not knowing how everything worked, and it being my first real full time job I just did what I was told and tried my best to impress the bosses. One day in the packaging room someone had thrown a screwdriver out of anger, and it stuck into the drywall. Out of hilarity my manager bet the guy to gas station taquitas he couldn't do it again. This became a daily thing around lunchtime. Everyone would gather around and throw screwdrivers at the wall and whoever's didn't stick had to buy lunch. Well this was right over a $8,000 heat shrink machine. And guess who accidentally hit the control panel breaking the machine. Well one day one of the owners came back looking for something specific and noticed the bludgeoned wall. Looks at all of us owner. So you guys, have been throwing screwdrivers at the wall. Me, hangs head yes owner, that's cool walks away never got fired. He was extremely pissed about the machine I had broke though. He ended up just buying a better one. I started my evening warehouse job right before thanksgiving. I needed this job too it was a great blessing to get it. I was newly married, and had a baby girl, we made hardly anything, and this job was literally an answer to prayer. After a few weeks I finally received my forklift certification. I was trying to turn in a tight spot and accidentally broke of the rear light housing off the forklift. Not wanting to hide it, I immediately told my cowhawkers, and they said don't sweat it. Just tell the supervisor, you'll probably get your hand slapped but that's easy to replace. So I went to my supervisor to tell him. He looked at me with a straight face and said, you're fired. I just wanted to make sure he wasn't kidding. I had a sinking suspicion that he wasn't, so I asked if he was serious. He then said, yes, a safety violation in your probation period. I started to walk away to the locker room devastated. He called me back and said, you're not fired, thanks for telling me. That one hurt. But I have been with the company now 8 years, and worked my way into a corporate role. Two stories. My first job was with honey baked ham. For giggles, I thought it'd be funny to answer the phone and say, Thank you for calling HBH where our meat is always tender and moist. There was a brief moment of silence, and then I heard my manager on the other end say, Excuse me? Worked at a daycare in college. Had twin boys in my class that were very rambunctious. We had a football that I would throw to the kids a lot, especially the boys, because they seemed to really enjoy it. This was the chain of events on my last day. Twin one steps really close to me, and holds his arm back, like he's going to chunk the ball at me point blank. I said, don't throw that at me. So he of course does and runs off. I picked the ball up, and threw it at him, and as the ball was in midair he turns around, and the ball hits him right between the legs. He literally drops to his knees and screams. 
The teacher in the room next to me knew it was an accident and takes him inside to get him some water and butter him up. Twinto approaches, you hit my brother he goes to throw the ball at me as hard as he can, and I put my foot up to kick it, and I end up kicking him right in the nuts. He drops to the ground and screams. At this very moment the after school director walks out with the previous twin, and now sees the second one on the ground holding his crotch. She says, OMG you hit another one. And all I could think to say was, he hit me first. I knew right then I was done. Handful of friends and I worked at a golf course through high school. The golf course was bank owned due to financial hardship and was largely ignored by the institution. They had a guy who would occasionally stop in for 22-30 minutes, but beyond that, we pretty much ran the joint. The course had a good amount of traffic, and, frankly, the course ran smoother than a lot of places full of power trippy starters and over congested t-sheets. The fact that we were a bunch of 16 to 18 year old kids who kept the place in order was quite remarkable. Anyways, after a few years of this, the course was purchased by a semi-local golf course investor. He comes in his first day and goes on a rant about how he doesn't believe that anyone under the age of 30 should be handling the cash register. He talks about theft and how he doesn't trust kids, etc. Then, unsurprisingly, he fired all of us kids and hired a bunch of old guys to take over our duties. The course ended up going under a few years later. The old guys struggled to keep up with things like booking tea times on the computer while answering phones and handling purchases. It was honestly pretty sweet to see it all end that way, even though I miss the course itself dearly.